Spiky bits. Hey guys, MBG here today with a review of the uh, new Citadel How to Paint Miniatures book. Um, we just got this in and uh, I was flipping through it a little earlier and it, it's a pretty cool book. Um, there's a lot of good stuff in here and I think it's uh, going to take you know pretty much average painters out there to a whole nother level um, with this whole new paint line and this book here. So let's take a look at it real quick. Um, there's a whole lot to this thing. There's about, I think it's 139 pages, 132 pages in this thing. Um, I think it retails for around 50 bucks. And honestly, once you start getting into it, it's a pretty cool book. Um, one thing to keep in mind too, it does come with a 90 minute how to paint DVD, uh, which from what I understand is done by two Golden Demon Award winners and members, uh, members of the uh, Citadel Heavy Metal paint team. Uh, one is actually painting and the other is narrating like what he's doing. And I don't know about you, but some of those other videos out there, like, you know, that you got to spend 50 bucks just on the daggone video, you know, they, they skip steps and then they're like, oh, I couldn't finish it. I had to come back because the lights were, weren't right. And you miss out on, like, the, the most critical steps that you kind of wanted to see. I don't know whether this is on purpose or if they're just trying to keep their their painting technique secret or whatever. But that's not what I paid 50 bucks for that DVD, you know. So, anyways, I digress. So, let's take a look here. Um... Basically, it's got this neat spiral bound format, which is pretty cool. So you can basically set it up and have it on your paint station while you're painting. Uh, it's a little bit awkward because if you do that, like if, once you get back here to this area, you know you basically have to have to spin it to see the, the other the other side. I mean, you can flip it and all, but then you got to spin it around. But I guess if it's you know if you're just looking at it every couple of minutes, it's not that big of a deal really. Um, Let's like transform this thing back here. So anyways, there's the book. Let's take a look at a couple of sections. It's basically divided into two sections here. You got uh, section one is techniques and section two is army projects. I'm not really going to get into the army projects because they're pretty self-explanatory. Like, hey, I want to learn how to paint Dark Eldar. Okay, cool. You know, l let me take a look at that. Um, what I really wanted to talk about was a lot of hobby basics in this thing, um, which is pretty much this whole side right here from preparing base coating to washing dry brushing all the different techniques that, that people might not be familiar with that takes a little while to find you know on the internet or in a book or whatever so that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you guys about today uh, there's another thing too like the top tips thing kind of like in World of Warcraft with a little exclamation point ding ding you know that's that's stuff you might want to pay attention to because there's some pretty good things in here um, this just basically goes over a few things. Let's skip to what I wanted to talk about. All right, here's uh, this is a good section on uh, basically spray painting your miniatures. Um, there's about three pages on that, but here's here's the thing right here that I liked was the spray paint troubleshooting, because you always hear about people how they, they you know they ruined their their model or whatever because they sprayed it wrong and it you know bubbled up or it got all grainy or whatever, and they're like I can't figure out you know what I did wrong and. Well, right here, you got four different, you know, four different common causes, like what you did wrong, you know, just basically, you know, just, just to kind of help you. A lot of different sprays out there, the distances between the model and the actual spray gun itself is completely different. Like, um, you know, Army Painter is completely different kind of distance from a Games Workshop paint to a Walmart paint, you know, you, 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 you got to treat it differently, you know, read the directions and everything, because there's no point ruining your miniatures over, you know, not reading, basically. But I thought that was kind of neat. Another thing in here. I got really great articles in here. Here's different washing your models. Um, this is kind of like what I'm curious about doing when I actually get my hands on the paints a little later tonight. Is some different things like basically painting it white and then washing it. You know, different yellows and then washing them. Uh, this is just basically different ways of using the washes. Uh, and then you got the dry compounds, which are new things for us. Um, they're, you know, they're very pastel-y looking. And basically, you know, you just use them as a normal dry, dry brush. But, you know, they're not going to be wet. So you don't have to, like, you know, basically get it off on a, a paper towel. You know, try to remove as much paint as you can because, you know, you're trying not to, like, smear it and overbrush when you're just trying to do a normal dry brush. And then you got a couple examples, you know, basically Gandalf with a little white, you know, or gray, and then it's washed, and, it, you know, instant shading. So, like I said, this 
you know, this book is in these this new range is really going to take a lot of basic painters that would just kind of do this to above basic with this. Then you can mix in a bunch of different, uh, you know, advanced techniques and stuff too, and get super crazy. But I mean, we saw how the uh, the hobby got revolutionized with the new washes came out a few years ago, and now you know, once again, we got even more stuff to play with. So we're going to see a lot of better painters out there. Um, a couple different examples, you know, dry brushing bone, dry brushing fur. Uh, let's flip the page. You know, uh, basically boxy armor surfaces, metal. Well, this is always hard to do too because the, the thing people get wrong a lot of times is they don't take as much paint off the brush as they should. Um, then it goes into the layer paints, which is okay. Um, it just gives a bunch of different examples. And then it gets into like how to paint the different armies and stuff. So like I said, this book it's pretty huge, 100, 130 some pages. Gives you specific ideas and techniques on how to paint, you know, the salamander space marine, whatever. Um, and the other thing I want to talk about here was what's contained on the DVD, which looks pretty cool. Basically, you know, introduction, prepping, base coating, all that stuff we just talked about that was in section one of this book. And then it starts getting into, you know advanced techniques like batch painting, you know, doing a whole bunch of things at once. Two different armies, the High, High Fleet Kraken and Space Marines Aurora Chapter. Um, and then a summary of the, probably the different techniques and stuff you learn. So overall, uh, this book looks great. I haven't read it, I haven't uh, watched the video yet, but so far I'm definitely impressed with this book. Um, and, uh, you know, basically the, the premise behind it. And honestly, for the price point, $50, it's actually not that bad compared to some of those how to paint videos by Golden Demon winners out there that are $50 themselves. They don't cover the basics. They don't give you all the steps. And honestly, like, it's rather frustrating at the end. Uh, the only drawback I really see to this book is the spine. It's kind of, uh, or binding, it's, it's kind of weak. Um, I don't think this stuff will tear out. But you just have to be very careful. You know, you can't speed flip through this thing which you're not really going to be doing anyways, but, you know, it's just something to consider, you know, maybe just being a little careful with it. But other than that, I really like this book. I like this idea. I think it's uh, it's uh it's been needed for a long time, and I think they're going to do quite well with this book, so. Spiky bits.